Hi everyone, welcome to Restaurant Domain. The veil, the actual veil. How beautiful is this, Rick? Rick. Oh man. Look at this place. Oh wow. There are so many things to see in this restaurant. You just don't know where to look. It is an absolute destination restaurant. We're actually in the outside area. We will be sitting. I'll show you the whole place. It is huge. It is massive. And it keeps extending. But, but, I want to show you inside. Because we'll be outside. You'll see loads of that while we're sitting here. But I'm actually going to take you inside. So just around there, that, that's the one entrance that goes to the outside area. But you also have this. This is the original part of the, where it all started. So let's go into the, the bar area. And oh, there's the owner. Hi. Hi. And some of the guys are on the back there. And look, he actually collects number plates. So if you have an old number plate you want to bring here, I'm sure you'll accept more. Nice sitting and waiting area, I suppose, if you want to get a takeaway. <laughs> Through here is, is another, another area and more number plates. But this one actually has some really interesting things. A marlin. It looks like there's a shark down there as well. And some big buildings on a, on a ski. But this is my favorite. This is my favorite. Price subject to change according to customer attitude and other similars. <laughs> be good, it'll be cheaper for you. i here with Jen and Steve, who've been coming here for 20 years, would you believe? And they've seen it grow. And they've been telling us such amazing stories about this place. And it's really incredible because wherever you look, there's something new. It's like, oh, there's a chair made from a barrel. I suppose. <laughs> If you come stand by the wall, it is ruffled like it is the sea. It feels like you're actually underwater here. And you've got a few puffer fish and a, an array. And there's so many things all the way around. You actually have to do come, you do have to come here and actually look at it yourselves. Look at this. Frosty ice cold glass on a hot summer's day. Mmm, <clears throat> doesn't get better than that. I didn't actually notice, but these guys look like the terracotta army. Oh, and that wood sculpture in the middle is beautiful. Ha ha! I've found the lost dodo! Ha <laughs> ha! Hey buddy! Oh, he's actually quite... Interesting. It's like, he's, like, he's like the ones at the Natural History Museum. But he's not painted. But he's not painted. We should get together and paint him. <laughs> Probably wouldn't let us. Oh, he might, because he's that kind of guy. Okay, so one of the stories that they told us is of this bicycle up here. Rose and Ali, this was their bicycle. Thank you Rose and Ali for donating it. It looks amazing in the restaurant. That is so cool. I've got a whole collection of old things. And, and some new old things that you might remember from your youth. <laughs> Check that out. And their tables absolutely everywhere. I'm gonna have to do your proper walk around so you can get the scale of this place. It's massive. Oh, look what's arrived. Oh, the spread. And of course the the sauces, condiments, that's and what they call it. And there's butter, so if you want to make bread and butter, if you brought your own gato pimons. <laughs> Good bread and butter there, Rick. Something interesting's coming. Oh, it is. I think it's coming for us. This is chili chicken. Wow. Octopus salad. Octopus salad. Is that a bentier? What's the show called? Ben Benetier. So the that's, island we went to. Yes, it's named after a shell. Mm. Octopus salad and a benetier. Because benetier island is that yes. shape. Yes, no, it's that shape. And we, 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 we had our picnic here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try, we'll try this time. The smell of those caramelized onions and chicken, chili chicken. Wow, it looks great. Get stuck in, Steve. Uh, no, 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 I can't wait to be told again. No, no, carry on. No. <laughs> oh, wow. Let me get you guys in there. Mm, wow. You got the playing with food. 
I've got uh, you playing with food. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing playing with food for B-roll. Mm. Describe how absolutely delicious that tastes while you're looking mm. at pictures of you playing with the food. Oh, and these onions. Mm-mm-mm. And the guys at the end are already getting stuck in because they're not, they're not vloggers. They came for the meal. Beautiful. We've got the share platter. So Ricky is going to try the chili chicken, mm -hmm. which is world famous here, according to our guest. Mm. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. It's like got flavor all the way through. Mm. Oh, yes. The chicken mm. is colored all the way through. Mm. Oh wow! And it's beautifully savoury, yeah. not too hot. Without being full of any mm. spices. Yeah. This is lovely. I'm going to try it now. Mm -hmm. I've got the chicken, but we just got something arrived. Yeah, we made some spaces and we acquired bread and salad. So he gave us some roti for the chicken. Awesome. So, so I'm, not like gonna, I'm not going to fool around, I'm going roti on it. <laughs> mm. Unexpected. Mm-hmm. Tasty. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. Try a bit of the onion because the onion is really, really nice. Onion is delicious. Hard to grab. Mm. It's great. Mm -hmm. I like that. Good choice, Steve mm. and Jan. Brilliant. This is like Ricky's sort of technique. Mm-hmm, it is. I, it is one of my favorite techniques where they take the, the chicken and they marinate it probably for a few hours and then you put it in a spicy flour before frying it. Yeah, it's like it's absorbed. The flavor's sucked into the chicken. That looks good. Jan's like, Get him, give me back my chicken. <laughs> 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 it's actually quite good chips. Oh, try dipping in some chili sauce. It's no. over there. <laughs> what do you mean no? Oh, what a great idea. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Soak up the juices. Oh, oh, there we go. Top That's tip, good. everyone. <laughs> oh, these crispy deep fried calamaris. Wow. I was not expecting the quality of food in the veil. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, no, we focus. No. <laughs> it's that bright, that, that new dress of yours. Mm -hmm. It just hogs the focus. <laughs> mm. Soft. Mm, Juicy. Crunchy. Oh, crunchy. Mm. Oh, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I try that other half? Mm -hmm. Thanks, Rick. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's really crunchy. Mm. Mm. It's spectacular. I'm like almost a cornflakey. Mm. <laughs> it's very close to those popcorn ones. Lovely. Mm. Really lovely. Mm. Great looking salad. It is. Really nice. This Jan will say great looking salad. <laughs> you might have noticed she's Scottish, so I get to try my Scottish accent badly. No, 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 you don't. <laughs> no, I don't. He so doesn't. Every time I get into it. <laughs> no. <laughs> good looking salad. Sauce looks nice. <laughs> mm. Nice, good salad. Mm. Great vinaigrette on it. Okay. Mm. Wow. Ever since she was selling them for ten rupees for something or other, <laughs> I wanted to try them. This rupee, this rupee, <laughs> croissant, this rupee. <laughs> so Jen just said we have to try cress bouillon, and apparently it's served with poisson sel, poisson sali rugai, poisson sali rugai, mm. Ooh, and Satine, coconut, satiny coco, which is coconut chutney. Satine. Coco, coconut chutney. It is the measure of a place about the chili. Uh, Steve says go sparingly, everybody's that printing. That is sparingly, that's a teaspoon. Uh, so here Betsy. we go. Oh. It's well, a main veil chili. Nice. Main veil. Hey, wait, no, this is the veil. No, uh -huh, it's the veil. Oh, well, what was I thinking? Nice and free. Nice. All good. Do you want me to stop filming? <laughs> Have some cucumber. <laughs> I don't know whether that's bravery or recklessness. <laughs> Loving this crisp salad and the calamari. Are you going to double up on it? <laughs> oh, vertical bite. <laughs> that's the calamari, and have a look. It's actually yellow in the middle as well. It is. Which means they're flavoring they, all the way through. Yeah, they're getting the flavors all in the middle. Yeah. Uh -huh. I can't even tell the difference between that and Ricky's nails anymore. <laughs> <laughs>
It's all hidden underneath. There's lots of stuff hidden in that shell. Oh wow, that shell is deep. Come back and be oh, eaten. Man, that looks so cool. That does. I mean, that looks like real octopus. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's got this great chew to it, and the sea is exploding in my mouth. <laughs> the sea is exploding in your mouth. Mm. The texture on that is unique. Wow, what a revelation. <laughs> that skin that's on there, it gives us gelatinous, there's yes. these tiny little pieces of um, lemon, lemon peel. They're actually chilies in the chicken, I found them. <laughs> they were on top. <laughs> They're on top. <laughs> so there we are, we can finally make our butty. Okay, it's a little bit sad. I took the inside out because I thought that's what you do, but I think you actually put the. You're supposed to put it inside. Hey, yeah, anyway. Ah. Calamari, mm. buddy. Mm -hmm. What chili? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, this cucumber just won't be picked up. <laughs> and watercress. Oh, watercress! What a discovery! So yummy and peppery and yummy. It's not watery at all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to check this out. This is a toilet. There's more inside. But this is one outside. How cool is this? Out back at the restaurant, there's this whole kids play area. Look at this, even with the walking, walking thing. And that's pretty awesome. The kids can come and play out here and then run back and get a bit of chips or something. Nice. So the toys. Hello. And the peacock. Somebody watching. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, no. Look at this really nice area. There's so many tables and chairs. But if you're coming on a weekend, you apparently have to book because it gets full. Wow. I know, I know. It is so super cool. It's incredible. And the food is amazing. And it's really not badly priced either. Oh, under these big trees. And the guy keeps expanding. Apparently this outside here used to be where they parked their cars. But now, because of so much demand, he's expanded, so this is part of the restaurant now. Absolutely magic place. You've got to come here. You can get a sizzling thing. Oh, wow. Oh, man, that looks awesome. All these massive, massive pallet furniture, with the real pallets, as I would say. It's got like a table there. A huge, so cool. Brian's just spotted the tire lights, chandelier, gorgeous bar with all these donated license plates. Wow, look at that! It's a pretty decent collection. Oh, and they are also, this is gorgeous. I don't even know what it is, but it's amazing. But there are these private areas that you can rent, I suppose, or come and have your lunch at the private area. It's quite a big menu. These are the entrees. Oh, the crab soup. Wow. And if it's got stars like this, it's recommended by the restaurant. And then I think you can get like a mix of two or a mix of four. And then you could get chicken things. The chili chicken, also 225. Same things but with lamb, so there's also a chili lamb. Oh, that's a must try at some point as well. Prawns. Okay, so the calamari. I assume we had the Christian calamari Christian, I think. Hmm. Yeah. That's not on there. Then Maybe it's starter. a starter. Calamari Christian. It's two to five. I mean no oh saute. Sorry, we haven't got to the salad yet. Saute, Ricky. This is the fruit de mer. seafood platters. Oh wow. And crab. Okay, so your fried noodles, mean free, and fried rice, reese free. Really like like almost street food pricing. 
grilled fish. It's like grilled fish with ginger, two two five. And it's like a whole fish. Yeah. No, they can't be they right. They can't be right. <laughs> Veggies and oh, this is the whole vegetarian menu. So great dessert. Mmm. Ice creams, banana flambe. Oh man, cheesecake. You'll never have space for this. You'd have to come just for the <laughs> the desserts. And a whole birthday cake. Don't blame us, but we missed that octopus salad because it's apparently in the starter menu on the front. Served in the Bennett here for two two five. I'm I'm quite blown away by that. Pudding has arrived. Oh that's the flambe banana. Uh -huh. Oh wow. I think it's like a chocolate, chocolate brownie or volcano or something like that. Cake. Soft chocolate cake with ice cream. Mm. Oh wow. Dripping liquid chocolate broken dam lava cake. <laughs> now my mouth is watering again. Uh-huh. I wasn't I wasn't prepared for pudding. I'm gonna try some. It tastes as good as it looks. It's got coconut in it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> in the ice cream? Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> it's going to take a lot of tries <laughs> to figure it out. <laughs> Make him stop. <laughs> Steve says it's very beautiful. Tropical. It is beautiful. And that banana smells really, really, really like banana. Mm. Good. Mm. Mm. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. A piece of heaven. A piece of heaven. <laughs> piece of heaven. <laughs> Ricky playing with cake and ice cream. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's why you have to put your hand up. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. I forgot to mention that. I, I thought that was well, the, the cake's hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's lovely. That's good, eh? Mm. But how's the coconut? If oh. it hadn't, if it had just been vanilla ice cream, I don't think Ooh, it would be no, as good. The coconut is amazing. I was just, and I was not expecting that it was going to be warm. <laughs> it's really, really nice. That's magnificent. They do a good dessert. Excuse, excuse tongues. It's the only way to go. <laughs> Ooh. That is so good. Now I'm embarrassed. <laughs> so anyway, Phoenix, 65. For the small bottle, 120. That's for the big bottle, 675. 675 mil. Tails, Blue Lagoon. As seen here. Awesome, 125. And yes, they have wine by the glass, 90 rupees. And the half bottle, 240. You can get whole bottles of wine as well. Five shots for 200 rupees, so you can come try some rums here as well. That's pretty cool. Five shots, 200 rupees. <laughs> Bring a taxi. Find someone got an umbrella. Hello. Uh -huh. Domain. Domain. But look, there's their details. Awesome. Yep. That's how you contact them. Uh huh. And book. 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 Will be coming on the weekends. It packs. <laughs> oh, so you go all the way to Dorichi from here. Oh wow, so you can go from Dorich Forest through Ansdere on the quad bikes. Yeah. Two 700, hours. one hour, 1200. Forget about the one hour, take the two hour, you want to go the whole way. Yeah. Oh, that, that's awesome. So there you go, destination restaurant that actually also rents out quad bikes. I am genuinely stunned, absolutely shocked in fact, to find such a great destination restaurant in the Vale. It feels like the Vale is about to become a place and it might be because of this restaurant. Well, it might just be because the veil has always been awesome. Yeah, check my other video about the veil. But I wish I'd come to this place. How beautiful is she in her dress? Oh, I'm just loving this thing. I'm going to crap. <laughs> wow. How incredible is this place? Very. Over there, they've got a screen where they project cartoons for kids and sports games and things. I can't believe I've lived down the road for so long and I've never actually come here. You have to come here. It really is that good. Actually, a place like this, you almost actually want to move yourself closer to it so that you can care here every night. <laughs> I sort of want to do the quad bike. You head out to yeah. Duruti Forest, but have a look down that way. Parking. Loads of parking. Wait for it, wait for it. Even more parking, but it gets full. It does. Because it's popular, the food is cheap, the food is delicious, 
But these are 65. So why wouldn't you come? Yeah, other restaurants? Take note. Uh, take note. Come on, let's go. <laughs> hey, Susie. Okay, so we're going to start you zoomed in because what's important is that Google's completely wrong here. These roads all meet, right? So we're in the Vale and you can get to here from uh, Grand Bay. This is the road that comes past SuperU. So you come past SuperU and you get here. Or if you're coming along the highway, turn at the Vale and you can get here like that way. Or, whoa, HD printing. Uh, past food factory down Satis Road you get to this point so pretty easy except once you get here that road exists you can come down this road and get to restaurant domain so fully zooming out for you guys and up in the top near Grand Bay <laughs> the Vale domain destination restaurant be here Wow, Domain the Veil, you guys have to make a plan, book a table. Well anyway everyone, thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.